All right. Here's my opinion of telephone training, whether it's by these people or any other of the 10 telephone training seminars I've gone to in the last 44 years. They give you a script. Is the script going to work with all the customers? No. 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 I'd rather teach you concepts that you can adapt to your own style because we could go to the, we could all four go to the same or all five or all six go to the same telephone seminar and come out with different impressions because we're all different right we all we're all going to be different on the phone um there's nothing wrong with that that's what makes the world go around um so i'm going to give you some guidelines i'm going to tell you the things that are most effect the, the sales people that are making the most appointments um, what they use, their ideas, and it basically boils down to something as simple as be polite, answer the customer's questions, and persistently attempt to set an appointment. I mean, it's the, to me, it's that simple. You know, <clears throat> none of you guys, how long have you been in the business? Uh, 13 years. Okay. When you were taught how to handle a telephone. Were you taught to block and evade and uh, try not to answer customers' questions? To a degree. Yeah, see, as, what, as little as you could to set the appointment. Yeah, when I was taught, we were taught, I mean, think how, think how stupid this is. I mean, I remember the words, word for word. If you give the customer too much information, they'll have no reason to come to the store. So, but if you're really rude to them on the phone and you refuse to answer the questions, they'll have a good reason to come to the store? Hmm. Think about that. This is how ass backwards this business has been. You know why people hate car salespeople? Because of the way car salespeople were trained. <laughs>